Oh, so beautiful. It made a doku. I ain't gonna do that because we don't know what the situation was, but right on, uh, right on. Oh, so beautiful. Nia Long is playing Catherine Jackson in the biopic, which y'all got, man. Um, uh, I like the Jackson man, but that thing when they 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 call their mother by the first name, you know, they be calling yeah. the Catherine. And and mother and that shit. I don't know why, man. That shit just don't hit my ears right. That shit is fucking cringe. I don't like. I I don't want them calling her mother or whatever. And uh, and I'm sure yeah. that's what's gonna happen because that was the you know the original one with uh who was uh shit the singer I forget his name. I love the dude, but anyway, yeah, man. I can't wait to see Neil Long play uh Catherine. Jackson. Can, I, can I ask you a question? Do y'all think that Catherine and Joe made all them goddamn kids weird? Or do you think it was fame? Both. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker, did you see that house that they lived in in Gary, Indiana? One bedroom. <laughs> think about yeah. my one room shack. <laughs> Shit. That will make a yeah. motherfucker nuts right there. Mother, you sitting, you sleeping on top of the refrigerator? Eating potatoes oh. and shit. Yeah, man. Sp- fuck that. Yeah, yeah. That's that whole... Mother- Motherfucker Potatoes been working since he was six. It got Damn. Jermaine's grease on everything. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be glad them potatoes ain't get blight. Yeah, yeah man. man. It, was, uh, it was definitely the original version of Get Rich or Die Trying. Yeah, man. That nigga. You know, but that brother that's saw him, But you're going you gonna to pay the price. You're going to pay the price for that sacrifice. And it came out. Yeah. You know, this motherfucker, you know, made up his own childhood. Neverland. You know, yeah, yeah, like a pet rat don't, and a monkey. Yeah, don't no grown man, you know, be trying to climb trees and you know, especially in penny loafers. <laughs> <laughs> so back to my point, man. Yeah, it I mean, fucked yeah, them no, up, man. That... If it, it fucked them up, man. When you out there hustling and you at at a young age and you out there on the stroll, your daddy working you. <laughs> hey, while my while my dad was always like, how that motherfucker get, get up the trees in the penny loafers? <laughs> Fuckers ain't got no friend. <laughs> but he was up there on that top branch <laughs> giving an interview. No, I'm yeah. not coming down. Mike, we're trying to do an interview. I can hear you. <laughs> Put the boom mic up here. Who doesn't okay. love trees? Mike, everybody I mean, loves trees, trees, but we don't like. <laughs> Black folks up in them, man. Y'all know y'all history with trees, so get on. Oh down. my god, that motherfucker was in the good <laughs> tree. There's some pennies. I wonder if you had the actual penny inside of the motherfucker, man. Let me see some, man. Like I said, man, it was uh, you know, to your original question about parenting and you know that whole limelight. I think it was a pure combination of both because it, it comes with it, man, with all that responsibility. They uh, interviewed uh, Eddie Levert one time, and he said that at a young age, he knew Mike was up on it. He was like, what if I just stopped singing? What would they do then? He was like, when he was little, little, he pretty much knew, like, motherfucker, y'all depending on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the driving force behind this shit. You know, for somebody to carry that burden at a young age, it's gonna fuck with you, man. Yeah, yeah. I I I don't I don't and I don't I don't think he really uh I think after a certain point he kind of resented them because yeah, they did they did lean on him so much not just his parents I'm talking about rent because I remember uh, somebody somebody like I don't know how these people be doing shit with the with the cameras but that last big thing they were all together um when it was it was a Michael Jackson thing but you know remember Chris Tucker came out. And, yeah. Usher and You Rock My World. Well, they showed when they did that Can You Feel It. <laughs> I guess Randy was trying to grandstand or, or one of them and Mike was looking at him like Nigga. Fuck don't nobody know who you are. Right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was this ass at all the Diddy parties. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mike be like, nobody want to fuck you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mike be like, I bet you can't name my other five brothers. I bet you can't name all of them. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I know so, Randy and Tito. It probably was a lot of resentment because he was the one out front. He yeah. was the, he was the guy. He was the icon. He was the one who had the Jackson legacy to uphold, and it was yeah. him and then Janet. Yeah, and then the rest of the brothers. You know that's how that shit went. 
But do you remember when they made that video Scream? Yeah. Um, him and Janet, it was a big yeah. fucking thing. I still listen yeah. to that song. It was one of those big budget videos. Yeah. Like over a million dollars back then, which was a huge fucking deal. They started using CGI, that shit from uh, yeah. Terminator and all that stuff. Yeah. I think at the time when they did the interview, I was watching him doing the doing the behind the scenes. I think it had been 14 years since he and Janet seen each other face to face. Wow. So yeah. that, wow. That's, and know. it still wasn't face to face because neither one of them looked the same. No, no. But she was fine in a motherfucker <laughs> back then. Though. Yeah. Janet was yeah. a fine motherfucker boy. Yeah. Big Janet yeah. and little Janet. Little Janet was fine. We ain't gonna act like she ain't having a little meat on her bones back when she was with Terry Lewis and Jimmy Jam. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, she's on tour. She's doing a tour this summer with uh, Nelly. Yeah. yeah be, on, be on the lookout for 